Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about a native wildflower. This is a pink evening primrose, also known as pink ladies. The white to pale pink flowers has red veins with four overlapping petals that opens one to three inches wide. The showy flower attracts the attention of gardeners everywhere, but must be planted selectively as they have a tendency to multiply. Pink Evening Primrose is a showy wildflower. It is an herbaceous perennial plant that is native to North America. It's also a favorite woodland plant that is vigorous, heat tolerant, drought resistant, long blooming, and very easy to grow. Unlike the yellow evening primrose, the flowers of the pink evening primrose open in the morning and close at dusk. I took these photos one early morning in April in zone 8A growing in the wild. This wildflower is treasured in the home landscape for two reasons. One, the flowers last from early spring to late summer. Two, the fragrant four petal flowers grows on a tall spike that provides a delicate appearance in the landscape. Even though evening primrose leaves may be edible and the seeds are used to produce evening primrose oil, you may not want to grow this wildflower in your home landscape. Here are two reasons why. One, every bloom drops a seed. Pink evening primrose is easy to grow. The blooms are beautiful with a delicate appearance and can be mixed into your landscape to create a colorful spreading display. However, be aware that evening primrose self seeds readily. Two, it forms a colony and is considered a high maintenance plant. Evening primrose spreads rapidly on shallow roots when the hot summer weather arrives. Give this beauty plenty of room to grow and it will outrun smaller, less vigorous plants. However, it can be used as a ground cover if you so choose. Although pink evening primrose may be invasive or a thug in the home garden, its lemon scented flowers are beautiful and may just lure you with its beauty. They are native to North America, hardy from zones 5 to 9, self-sufficient, blooms profusely from early spring to late summer, and pollinators absolutely love it. Thanks for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this plant profile. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe to Gardening Mindfully. Have a wonderful day everyone and happy gardening.